I was thrust into the dole I am a benefits fraudster. <laughs> <laughs> and, Woo yay! and it was on the telly. Um, whatever you think about that is whatever you think about it, but I am noble and I am proud. And um, I was grassed up to the dole. And the, one of the weirdest things about being in Manchester now, and this isn't like being horrible, you just don't know if that person's here. So if you are here... <laughs> Um, and that person got me at my lowest. I, I really was ill. And then this is, I mean, you know, I've been doing it for 20 years. Why did they choose me? And I was at my lowest ebb. And you, don't get me, don't make me angry. Don't make a scouser angry. It's not good. <laughs> I can't tell you how much that is because this will happen. <laughs> this is called the revenge of Nancy Sponger. <laughs> Broke her, you bastard. Filled her full of fear. Made the walls close in and crush the world whisper her name. She shivered at the cold of it, withered in the thrall of it, all huddled and cloying. You took her imagination to the heart of the sun. Burnt her. Made her older, singed, a man crone, a battered tart, heartbroken and cowed, unhinged. Oh, how she hobbled on that broken crutch, howled all clumsy, thump and thud thud, legs dragging like grief. All her work for free, all her heart poured out, hope she sculptured, you destroyed. You nearly killed Nancy Sponger. Found her in a ditch, bitch. Kicked her hope to oblivion, got the darkest yet. But it's in the corridor of your seconds, the silence of your secrets, the comfort of your boozing, in the slumber of your napping. That's when she'll come, a tap, tap, a tapping. Got her all immature and revenging, <laughs> casting spells and descending into the witchcraft of her youth. She'll take your tooth and saliva, break open your skin, then begin your end. She'll bend her mind to destruction and start to rip out your heart. <laughs> and if she dies, don't smile. She's still got the rock and roll. She's still got the dancing. And that's when she'll come and tap. Tap, tap, tap. <laughs> 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 another reminiscence. In 1981, I joined a theatre company in Wolverhampton called Zip Theatre, and I went with friends. 1981, like 1979, was just a classic year in my life. And two things happened in that year. Well, three things. One, I lived in Wolverhampton, which is great. People don't get it. <laughs> <laughs> it's gorgeous. Wolverhampton's well, really gothic and good. Um, two, I got my first ever theatrical dates, which I adored. And uh, three, I went to uh, the Silver Web, which was the second best gay club I've ever been to. So this is about all of that. It's called the Silver Web. It's Blitz in Wolverhampton. Bit late, but still Blitz. Last year's Aquatops and Whiteface, John Fox hunting the Human League. We are Dare, Dogs and Yazoo. <laughs> that bit of the night that is passionately immature, bitch and mongrel. Sky is palace sequin, music soft cell and shaken Stevens, the awe is new. Our skin's too perfect for woody, it's powdered. <laughs> Another town's red brick is like your town's red brick. Rubber tends to burn the same. Hazel Bussy, our landlady, tells us theatricals, warns us of queers, is lace, lavender and airtight secrets. We're nice boys and there are undesirables even in Wolverhampton. <laughs> <laughs> As lipstick around her lips and a locked room looks like the Joker's mum. <laughs> Our Miss Havisham is sad and angry. The room is full of dolls. We sneak a peek. Little Victorian freaks. 3D photos of dead babies. It shrieks Carl and Kim. There's a rocking horse. Animates him dance around a picture of her father. 
We're not that aware of a sadness, just her witchery. Too young for empathy, likes me more than Brian, calls me dear, warns in whispers he might be queer. <laughs> <laughs> the silver web is Friday and Saturday, a backdoor dream of glamorous alleyways. Mm. We're caught in its fibre and America. Dressed as freaky secrets, we breathe its stories. The lit baby poses, freezes and glories. Like walking through a damp wardrobe and into the 50s. We're too cheap bones for the 50s, too sheer. We're the future, dear. <laughs> Even though the Midlands, we smell babs in the craze, for the last time, that whiff of that England, what a carry on. You hear the birdie song after bed sitter. Camp is surreal and ancient, kind of Egyptian, queer Wolverhampton, kind of alien. Walls flock base and grief, the walls hug us. I still know those walls and their nicotine. Blitz baby snorts derision, he looks amazing, prances in angles, obtuse with the angels. <laughs> Any Kate Bush fans? Of course there are. Yeah. <laughs> when, you, when you're diagnosed with HIV, you don't half listen to Kate Bush a lot. <laughs> and I don't think it's a gay thing, I think I don't think it's an HIV thing. You don't have, and you, you go to YouTube and you can't stop playing them, it's a pleasure. <laughs> and I think every gay with HIV does that. <laughs> don't know if they do it with hepatitis C as well. <laughs> She saved my life, basically. So this is a trippy poem to Kate Bush. It's called Thanks, Kate. The purity and wisdom of the sensual child and labyrinths of magical fear. Labyrinths she stepped in, we stepped in, red shoed and accepting. Secret key hidden in a mouth full of ivy. For the heart-stopping peaks of perfection crowded in our alone. For the mindscapes of freedom and guilt, the dripping of pleasure on pleasure, like candles, like Catholic anarchy, like Roger Corman tears. For the delicious tastes of terror, the grottos glowing in our bedsits, grief so love-crafted for all the forbidden fruits. For letting me soar in your voice, moon-shadowed and night-bound, bat-like, avenging, silk on wing, on breeze, on a collision course with God. For making God deal with your big bangs. For being dressed as a rocket on Waterloo Bridge, the labyrinths of magical fear. For being queerer than queer, the Satan dragon ceremony. For being woman enough to become a mule. Uh, one of the things I did when I was uh, recouping, um, I, when I was drunk and a big rave, I used to go cruising a lot, and I, that's not the same as this cruising. Um, I, I needed to be around gay men, but loud, loud uninteresting gay men wasn't good for my state, because I would have killed them if I'd been around <laughs> loud uninteresting gay men. So I went cruising, and not for sex, <coughs> just to be around, I did have some sex. In fact, I got on television having sex <laughs> in uh, Britain in a day. I'm actually on. So that was one of the few times I had it off in short and water bath. Because I'm like queer. <laughs> <laughs> Two times I've been on telly this year, both in trouble with the police. They <laughs> <laughs> don't do that anymore upstairs. <laughs> they just shout when you're trying to perform. <laughs> right, that's queer. Right. <laughs> This is about cruising in Sholm Water Park, and it's a and it's a it's a it's it's a pain to cruising. It's called cops and robbers. <laughs> Flowers hang their heads like Edwardian servant girls to a brash beating sun. Mystery is rotting in the orchard. Breathing the sweet decay of apples is history. Through the trees, light splatters, ocean flecks, dancing liquid green. This is the pornography of dreaming, secrets of awake. Hidden in the bushes, the freedom of guilt, the rape of religion. For the faithless, trapped by faith, this is Eden. Heavy with machismo, the gaze affect men, lumbering leather and chains look like Gestapo, not like they fell from trees. Middle Earth and kids, <laughs> disguising effeminacy and grunting. By the apples, 
condoms, like a joke for Adam. <laughs> a sudden shift and storm, branches shake like night of the demon. It's in the trees, and a queen with all her fairy screams, I've just had three cocks, but I prefer the weather. <laughs> I recognise a witch, a sister. We howl inside the wind. Nature's bitches. We are her wit. <laughs> and this medication was on because I started it in March and Christmas when the medication was ending. So Christmas, I don't like Christmas now, we can't stand it. But it was big this time. And so I, I fell in love with this particular Christmas for this reason. It's called The Quiet on Christmas Day. A pillowcase thrown by a mother, iron smelling and billowing, becomes a bird, hollow boned. Gliding seagull wings cut air slices. Best way to hear the silence is to pretend you're flying. I've this dream I'm flying, never more confident, and nature has a hand in it. On some days you can hear the yell of peace. Add your voice to the cloud numbers. Everything is widescreen and cinemascope. Noiselessness is king. And let's not forget, we are living in terrible times uh, for everybody except the very rich. This is for David Cameron. It's called Christmas Steps. <laughs> <laughs> Glorious steps lit by kings leave a Christmas imprint and crunch. In the fib of legends, warmth. Follow me, pauper, and I line your stomach gold. Gold more precious than stew, more precious than shelter, more precious than vocation. A gold for fireside stories and song. A money metal for money feasts, keeping you wanting and grateful. A tinsel noose wrapped around the neck of mothers. Strange fruit for trees. Bubbles hung fatal. Follow him, pauper, into the cult of charity and debt, and let the season of good will reign. It's warm in the hollow of promises, the desolation of myth. He'll jolly a laugh and raise a glass as you turn your heating down. He'll be your king and gorge while you freeze to death in his footsteps. I'd like to leave you with this. Um, I have a strange and weird thing that I'm going to try to explain. I think we are all just memories. I think the solid memories, don't, not in that spiritual way, I don't think we're all like spiritual memories from God. <laughs> but I think we're made of memories more than anything else, more than absolutely anything else, even more than flesh. You know, I think we're made of memories. And sometimes when you meet somebody and they really impress you, they're not just impressing you because they're just flesh and bone. They're carrying with them the weight of everything they've ever known and the memories of memories. And you go, woo, and you're staggered. And you're not just meeting them. You're meeting 500 people, I think. I think that's what happens. And even when you hate somebody, it's the same thing. Got you. God, you knew you, you 500 really mean people. You know what I mean? <laughs> so this is that. This is about that. It's called Today I Am Snow. It falls, soft, feathery, a fickle... So I'll start again. It falls, soft, feathery, a fickle wisp of fibrous punctuation, big, blank paragraph of wordless white. Snow lands as paper. Someone is their own handwriting. A dogged Morse code, wobble steps and wibble walk. Dot, dot, dash of shoes, a dead giveaway. It's all stumbling a signature and leaving a trail. A ghost, snow, black-eyed sheet of phantom waves. I'm a haunted house in a full moon, blue-eyed and silhouetted, windswept shadow of a wicked bird. I'd like to be in the science of it, the explanation.